What's up, what's up, my beautiful people? Welcome to Clean Skillet, the show where we focus on quality conscious foods. I'm your host, Latifa E, and today we are going to make Cajun Mahi Mahi with a cilantro lime coleslaw. It's gonna be spicy, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be crunchy, tender, flaky. Um, it's gonna be everything that you love. So uh, yeah, take a moment. Subscribe, this way you can stay up to date with all the latest videos and quality conscious content. We're gonna go ahead and dive in to today's recipe. Now we're starting with mahi-mahi filets that need to be patted dry. Uh, grab your mahi-mahi filet and pat your um, filet down just to make sure you remove any excess moisture. And we're doing this just because if you're searing anything, you wanna make sure that all of the water has been uh, removed. And we're gonna do that for one more of the filets. So now that the mahi-mahi filets have been patted dry, we are going to season them with our Cajun seasoning. Now this is a homemade Cajun seasoning. Um, it consists of cumin, um, salt, black pepper. Again, I'm using that Himalayan pink rock sea salt that I love so much, and a four peppercorn blend. And I'm just gonna get that evenly distributed on uh, all sides of the filet. I also have smoked paprika in here, as well as chipotle powder. Now, some Cajun recipes call for brown sugar. You can totally do that, but because we're making a cilantro lime coleslaw that's gonna have a raw honey in it, I would recommend not using uh, the brown sugar, just because anytime that you can omit sugar, you should do so, especially if it's unnecessary. More, you're gonna really taste the sweetness in the cilantro lime coleslaw, so you don't need that on your um, fillets. And then you all know, I'm, I'm all about not wasting your good ingredients. Scoop that up on all sides of the fish. All right, um, so those are seasoned and ready to go in the kitchen for a pan sear. So we're gonna go ahead and put our mahi-mahi filets uh, on our clean skillet. Now you know this is one of my favorite ways to cook my proteins. It's fast, it's fun. You always hear that, 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 that sizzle. It's like music to my ears. So I'm turning on the stove to like a medium-high heat and I'm going to let my skillet get hot. You can go ahead and add any high smoke point oil uh, avocado or grapeseed are two of my favorite and work very well. I highly recommend those if you don't already have them in your cabinet. Uh, so we're gonna let this get hot and then we're gonna go ahead and add our fillets. Now, Mahi Mahi is a very smart seafood choice. It is low in fat, high in protein, and the texture is just unbeatable. Uh, it's an excellent fish, so if you see it in your local grocery store, definitely go for it. We're using a wild caught. Uh, you know I like to use wild caught uh, fish and seafood. It's usually a little more nutrient dense, and I find that the flavors are distinctly different. And so uh, if you can get your hands on that, do so. Now just a, a money saving tip, if you uh, find the Mahi Mahi fillets on sale at like, um, I don't know, maybe your local Whole Foods, grab a few. Um, as long as they're not pre they weren't previously frozen, you can throw them right into your freezer. You have up until three months to keep seafood uh, in the freezer. And so that way you can go to it and you know grab it and it'll be on hand and you don't have to worry about the next time that maybe it goes on sale. Definitely give Mahi Mahi a try. Pick a piece of filet up, Listen to that sizzle. Oh my God, it's like music to my ears. <laughs> I love that sound. All right, so now we're gonna add our second piece in there. And this is gonna pan sear for about four minutes per side. Um, at the four minute mark, we're gonna flip it over with our fish spatula and uh, make sure that it gets seared on the other side. So while that is searing, we're going to quickly whip up our cilantro lime coleslaw. 
Now, uh, again, we rested the sauteed garlic uh, that we sauteed with our fish right on top so that it wouldn't burn. So all we have to do is just literally scrape that right into our bowl. It's nice and seasoned. It has some Cajun seasoning on it as well. So you just scrape that into the bowl. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some lime juice. Now, I already had some fresh squeezed lime juice, but you can always um, squeeze some lime easily by just um, taking your lime and uh, cutting it across and either squeezing it by hand. Um, it doesn't have any seeds like lemons, so you can squeeze it by hand, or you could just use um, a lemon squeezer, and then that will help um, you know get out the rest of the juice. So those are a few ways that you could get the, the juice out. I had this previously juiced for my juicer. So, uh, but do not skip on the fresh lime. Do not go to the store and buy a store-bought lime juice. It will not have the same flavor, nor will it have the same vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and enzymes. Um, limes are packed with vitamin C. Our bodies need that to, to uh, basically keep our immune system strong. So definitely uh, make sure that this is a fresh squeezed lime. Uh, then you're gonna go ahead and add some honey. I have a raw, uh, unfiltered honey. You're gonna add that in there. And this is gonna be nice and give it, you know, a nice sweet and spicy uh, combination going on. So that's why I said earlier, don't add brown sugar in your Cajun seasoning because we have the honey um, going into the cilantro lime slaw. And then we're gonna add some cilantro um, and just, you know, sprinkle that in there. And we're gonna chop a little bit uh, just so that we have some for garnish as well. Um, roughly chopped, but we're gonna put that inside. And then our slaw is um, just literally a medley of cabbages. Um, you got red cabbage, a little carrot, and white cabbage. Now, you're gonna add a little salt and pepper, not a lot because you have so much seasoning already on your uh, Cajun fillets, but I do feel like it needs a little salt. You can also add some oil if you'd like, but I don't think you're gonna need it because you're gonna have some oil uh, from the fish whenever it's set. You're gonna be able to drizzle some of that oil over the, uh, the cabbage. And you can use your hands to do it or you can uh, use a fork and you're just going to roll it around. So that is done. We can push that to the side and we can plate this. I'm gonna put my cilantro uh, lime slaw on the plate first. Put that right in the center of the plate. And then you're gonna take a piece of your mahi-mahi and then just lay it right on top. And then you can use red pepper for garnish, just to like throw a couple red peppers on top and it'll it, this will go with the dish I think we've talked about this on other episodes before you don't want to um, plate your dish with anything that doesn't go so the red pepper goes it's a nice uh, flavor so definitely use that and then you can roughly chop some cilantro just to have you know some extra garnish on here it, this was kind of already chopped but if it was long I would just fold it press down in kind of like a rocking motion. Watch your fingers, of course, and just, you know, slightly go back. And then um, you're going to just add a little bit on top. And you can squeeze a little bit more lime if you'd like. So here's a little bit of that oil that I was telling you about that from the fish. So you can use that to just kind of drizzle that over top and give your plate some added extra color and flavor. So. If you can see, it's nicely plated, really easy to eat, I'm ready to dig in. And this is nice and light. This is a really nice and light meal. I don't recommend eating late, but if you do have to eat late, uh, this is you know super, super light. So let's give it a shot, let's see what it tastes like. And again, those textures already, you can see it's firm, it's flaky, you're gonna have crunch going on. It's gonna be, I already know it's gonna be good. I can smell it, I can smell the lime and the cilantro. That's it. Now, I honestly could have used just a little bit more honey, but I do feel like if you're watching your sugar intake, this would be a perfect amount. Mm. Sorry guys, you know I don't play when it's time to eat. Perfect. 
So again, I hope you're enjoying your meal as much as I am. Make sure to subscribe, leave your questions and positive comments below. And as always, I'll see you next week. Come on.